So I decided that I'd make a little Christmas bauble out of a piece of pine. Uh, here's one I made earlier. Made this one in two pieces. I uh, thought if I could do it in two, then I should be able to do it in one piece. So this end was uh, one stone, then I put a spigot and a mortise on the other end and joined the two together. I uh, thought, well, I'll see if I can make it in one. Got a piece of square, drilled a hole through uh, two faces all the way through to make the ball shape in the middle. Uh, mounted it between centers. Uh, turned it to round with a bowl gouge. I uh, just used two bowl gouges, I think, to make it. Didn't get too complicated. Got to a round, uh, decided which end was going to be which. Put a spigot on one end and I mount it in the chuck, uh, which I did there. Look, mounted it, got it going, decided whatever. Started rough shaping. Uh, see where it was. I'd, I hadn't got a plan. I just thought I'd find out what the wood gave me when I got to it. Uh, carried on forming down it was quite forgiving actually I got the tail stock up just to give me some support turned quite nicely I've made a few finials in the past so I knew that it would be supported at the other end for some time hopefully got to this point I was going to turn it off decided remove the tail stock there's lots of support uh, turned it down, got rid of the end. I think I actually sawed it off, but I didn't bother showing that part. Just cut it off at the end. Yeah, there we go. Started to shape it off, uh, final shaping. Realised as I went along that uh, as I got further and further up the piece, um, I could refine it more and more. I'd sanded it, I sanded it once or twice all the way through, to be fair. They also with the finial, you do that end, you can't go back to it, but there was a lot of lot of support on it. So I did a little bit of sanding. I showed a little bit of sanding, but not too much. As I say, I, I didn't have a I didn't have a plan. I wasn't gonna put a spiky end. Uh, you know what Christmas is like, I didn't want anybody using it as a weapon. I thought it was pointy so somebody could end up getting stabbed with it. Uh, So yeah, yeah, a bit of sanding. I went through all the grades. It was a bit of a waste of time really, because I did go back to it and sand it again. Then went back, carry on refining the shape. So they're rounding the bottom of the ball off. I was aware there's not as much meat there, so there's got to be quite careful. Oh yeah, see, sanding again, look. A bit of a waste of time. I realised that afterwards. I need, didn't need to sand it until I got to the other side of the ball, really. That, that would have been a safer option. Well, not a safer option, a sensible option. I wouldn't have wasted as much time to doing it. This actually took me about three quarters of an hour and I've cracked it down to three and a half minutes, I think. Four and a half minutes. It'd be quite nice if... Uh, be good if you could turn them on. If I was a production turner, I suppose if I turned them that quick, but you know, me, I'm not. Must have been a warm day that day, look, because I ain't got my hat on. So, yeah, went up to the top end, started shaping that, uh, and I got a rough shape out of it. I gave it a sand in, and I got to that point and thought, well, you know, you, you can guess how the rest of it goes, so I didn't, I didn't, bother, uh, didn't bother recording the rest of it. So I just went straight through at the top, caused a flat on the top um, to put a little mountain eye in. Um, one or two of these I've actually burnt with a with a blowtorch, and because the uh, the softwood seems to burn faster than the hardwood, um, so it gives quite a nice effect, a bit like Zabrano. And uh, there we have it. So I just turned it off, and uh, that was the job. Quite enjoyed it. So I've made half a dozen now, and they're on the tree. <laughs>